Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW. Uh, and guys, okay, if you have code P0300, we'll explain the most common cause for that code and how to fix it. Make sure you stand till the end. Uh, some of those guys, you hope it's not the case because it will involve quite a bit of money and uh, it will involve uh, things that you may not have. So I'll, I'll uh, explain about that as we go. Now, if you guys need to buy any parts, to use anything like that for your BMW, check out the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from another thing every single car that we get at the shop we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information now uh, <laughs> that will apply to multiple BMWs multiple BMWs guys because almost all of the engines function the same way and BMWs they like to use their engines in different models for instance that uh, uh, that BMW engine has been used in BMW guys 1 series 3 series 5 series X1 X3 X5 Z4 even 6 and 7 series in Europe so super super popular engine but Things to look for guys, okay, when you have code P0300, that means that uh, you get a random uh, cylinder misfire. Uh, now, we'll, we'll share the most common ones that we see at the shop and what leads to that code. Number one guys, always check ignition codes. Make sure your ignition codes perform correctly, make sure that they work good, because bad ignition code will throw that code. Another thing that we see, very common mistake, people sometimes guys, okay, when connecting the ignition codes, they'll push the wire in, they'll close the cap, but the wire will not go all the way in. Make sure that it goes all the way in. If that doesn't fix the problem, what I'll recommend, spark plugs, guys. Okay, you will need to remove your spark plugs, replace them, or you need to re-gap the spark plugs. We have a special video that explains all that, and I'll put the link in the description of the video below. If your spark plugs are worn out, and the gap is bigger or smaller than it should be, that will lead to misfire, guys. Okay, and it's uh, really, really hard to diagnose as well. So I'll definitely, okay, recommend to check this thing out. Uh, now, something else, guys, okay, that can lead to, uh, to uh, misfires that are uh, it's very common is faulty fuel injectors. Those are your fuel injectors. If you have bad, dirty fuel injectors, fuel injectors that are not working correctly or not having enough fuel pressure, guys, that can lead to misfires. So, uh, not having enough fuel pressure could be due to the, uh, due to two things. Okay, one is fuel pressure regulator. The other thing is uh, weak fuel pump. Okay, or uh, plugged fuel filter, fuel filter that's old, that's uh, plugged, quarked, will not let enough fuel go through through it, and as a result, you may end up with a uh, with not enough fuel pressure, and that will lead actually, guys, okay, to engine misfire. Now, something else that's quite common, okay, let me show you oxygen sensors. So. If you come right here on your BMW, for instance, six cylinders will have two upstream oxygen sensors, two downstream oxygen sensors. Uh, the upstream oxygen sensors are super, guys, okay, super important for the normal operation of the engine because they measure the amount of air and fuel in the exhaust system and uh, they send information to the computer if something needs to be adjusted. If you have a bad signal from the sensor not reading correctly, that can lead to misfire. And we have a video where you can get uh, oxygen sensors from, how to remove, replace them, what special tools you need. And I'll put that link in the description of the video below. If for some reason I forget, guys, just check it out. It's on our channel, uh, BMW Oxygen Sensor Replacement, guys. So now, uh, what else? What else can uh, lead to that? Past the oxygen sensors, you have, guys, catalytic converters. Okay, I'm trying my best to actually focus Okay, that device right there, this is known as catalytic converters. You may have two, you may have four catalytic converters, you may have one, it depends on which engine you have. But if the catalytic converter is quacked, plugged, it will not let enough gas come out of it, and that can result into misfire. That's something, something quite uh, uh, common that we see on older vehicles, vehicles with uh, really high mileage uh, that experience bad catalytic converters. Now. Uh, another thing on BMWs guys, okay, check your camshaft position sensors, okay, camshaft position sensors, and if you develop a leak, which is very common, we have a special video that explains common oil leaks on BMW, you can develop a leak from the valve cover gasket that we just replaced, uh, you, uh, the camshaft position sensors have an O-ring, if it starts leaking, it can get in the crankshaft position, uh, camshaft position sensor wires, 
and that can interfere with the signal that can lead to misfire as well and uh, one more thing okay right here guys this is called vanus solenoid uh, uh, if those are plugged and not working correctly that can cause that as well and we have a special video that actually explains how to uh, how to guys uh, test those how to clean them so you don't need to uh, waste money on a new vanus solenoid now uh, at that point we cover most of the things that can go bad something that we've seen but not quite often uh, burnt valves okay usually exhaust valves that are burnt that will cause guys okay uh, misfire we've seen that happen another thing is vacuum leaks but vacuum leak guys it's a whole new video why because you can develop vacuum leaks from so many places on that engine and we have a special video that explains for bmw vacuum leaks so uh, i'll try to put again the link in the description of the video below bmw vacuum leaks so check it out uh, if you have a vacuum leak that can definitely lead to that code p0300 because your car uh, what will happen when you have vacuum leak it gets more air than it needs and that will result into more air less fuel that will be lean mixture lean mixture can lead to misfire at certain rpms guys so definitely that can happen now another thing uh, what uh, what uh, we've seen only once but you hope that's not the case was a bad engine computer and you hope that's not the case we have a video how to remove replace engine computer but that's not very common guys almost never happened just one time and we don't know even how it happened so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time